Okay, guys, this is part two on how to make... Oops, sorry about that. My camera just slipped. There we go. This is part two on how to make... Remember I was telling you about this type of leather, this weathered leather out of foil. Okay, so now we're at this point here. Now, this is where it comes in that's going to look really good. Okay, we're going to use, um, I, I'm using folk art paint, but it's mainly the color that you want. But this is called Burnt Sienna. So if you like this color, you can get the uh, Folk Art Burnt Sienna. And you guys, go to Walmart to get your uh, Folk Art paints. They're 59 cents, way cheaper than anywhere else. Way, way, more, way cheaper than Joann's or Michael's or any of those places. Okay, so let me show you the color that you're looking for. At least if you want this leather color. Isn't that a real pretty leather type of color? That's what you're looking for. Okay, so go ahead and put that on, small sections again, okay, okay. and we're going to wipe off this, so the, it was wipe, blot, and now wipe again, okay, I'm going to wipe off. You can start seeing some of this leathery look. Just really lightly wiping off. Not a lot, just lightly. See how we start looking? Okay, let's keep going. Now when we're done with this part, we're going to uh, do a, um, a clear coat to protect all the work and that also helps give that leather look more. Okay, again, wipe off. Okay, let's do that one more time here. Finish up the piece. Let me see if I can make sure I'm in frame there. Sorry. Okay, a little bit more. And wherever you touch it at, it seems like it'll sometimes come off of there. Anyway, if it does, just touch it up. What I mean is if you touch over here and some stuff comes off because it's not all quite dry, just reapply it. Okay, again, wipe off. And wipe off. Okay, I'm just going to apply a little right here because I touched it and it wanted to wipe off a little bit. Okay, so now this is what this looks like. Let me show you guys. See how it's starting to look like leather? Okay, so now what we're going to dry it again real quick. got that. Also, if you guys don't want to blow dry in between, you don't have to. You can go ahead and just let it dry, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever in between coats and work on another project if you want. Whatever you want to do. But I like instant gratifications because I have no patience. So anyway, okay, see how that's all starting to look like really old weathered leather? Okay, now this is where the magic comes in even more, is I'm going to use um, the DuraClear varnish. Um, I think this is a really good thing to use uh, with your 50% off, 40% off coupon at, at uh, Joann's or Michael's. You can get it for like probably 4 or $5. So, and it's a nice big thing you can use in a lot of different projects besides this. So, 
I'm sure you can use glossy accents, but glossy accents is expensive and you get such a little bottle that I wouldn't use that. Not for this. This works just great. Okay, so I've rinsed out my brush. And I'm going to now clear coat this. Okay, make sure I'm in frame. There we go. Okay, I'm going to start clear coating. This is where the magic really comes. Because leather has that nice, shiny surface. And that's what we need to have for it to really, really stand out as leather. Old weathered leather, I should say. Okay, so we covered the whole thing. Now we're going to take the blow dryer again. Sorry, you guys, for so much blow drying, but I want to do this two times so that if, so if you want to do it with me, you can, but you actually get to see everything step by step. I think that really helps when you want to learn something new like this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Got it now. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. Let me show you guys. Kind of get the light to hit everything right. See how this looks like some old. Try to get real close. There we go. Get the light right. There we go. Doesn't that look like some old weathered leather? I think that's fabulous. Just want to keep showing you guys different in the light, different ways, so you can really see the texturing. There you go. That's a good one right there. Doesn't that look like an old weathered piece of leather? I think this is a fabulous, great, fun technique you can use on so many things, on so many projects. You can use this on covering boxes. In any project that you want to alter, journals, whatever, make jewelry with it. I just think it's a great thing. And I just want to show you guys what my final project was that I did with this. Um, I did this journal. Um, and it looks like an old weathered piece of leather. And it was just a simple composition book. 50 cent composition book. I think it turned out pretty cool. Just to show you the back so you can see that leather on the back. There we go. So anyway, I think you guys should give this a try. I think this is a really, really fun project. Um, I just want to remind everyone to, um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and just to let you guys know, pretty soon here, um, I'm going to be doing... Well, you know what, never mind. I'm going to leave that as a surprise. But the other, last thing I wanted to tell you guys though, is I did do a um, another journal like this, and you can check out that video. It's probably real close to this one. And it's um, how to make um, like make your uh, journal look like it's like a, made out of a piece of metal, like old rustic metal. Um, and that's a really good tutorial too. So um, check that tutorial out. And um, like I said, um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you guys have a very good creative day. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.